Welcome. In this video, I'll show you how to install PyTorch in your Windows 10 or 11. All right. First up, we would need some prerequisites. What are those? So one, you need Python. Okay. It could be either a three point something. Okay. 3.0, 3.1 and above. Okay. Another one you have pip. So pip is uh, usually installed with Python. Okay. So you don't have to worry about it. You'll just have to verify its presence. And if not, you, we can go ahead and install it later. Okay. Another one, CUDA. Okay. Or CUDA for GPU version. If you plan to use PyTorch with an NVIDIA GPU, you have to have a compatible NVIDIA driver and CUDA toolkit installed. So to install it, go ahead and open up a CMD. First up, let's go ahead and check our Python version. Okay. Go ahead and type in Python space hyphen hyphen version. Hit on enter. As you can see here, I have 3.13.7, which is uh, good enough for using the PyTorch right here. Now, once that's done, we'll like to uh, check our pip version. Okay. Pip space hyphen hyphen version as well, like so. As you can see, I have 25.2. And as promised, if you don't have a uh, pip installed, just open up your uh, favorite browser and just type down install pip. Okay. It'd be via CMD or just uh, the regular installation. Okay. Just click on the uh, pip documentation right here. And after that, go back as we are going to install PyTorch. Okay. So just basically go to pytorch.org. And once you're in here, just click on get started. Now go ahead and select the specific OS and its build. As you can see here, we have the stable 2.9.0 as the latest version today as per recording. Select a Windows, Mac or Linux and the package pip as we have used pip for this example. Okay. Also the language set it to Python and the compute platform. You can go ahead and use 12.6, 12.8 or CUDA 13. Okay. Also, if you don't have a powerful GPU, you can go ahead and use CPU only. All right. And it says here, just run this command to install Torch. So just double click on it, right click and paste, go back to your command prompt, control V, hit on enter, wait for the process to finish. So as you can see here, it is currently downloading as I am installing it on a fresh computer. And by the way, you could also use Conda or sometimes called Anaconda or Miniconda. All right, so basically wait for the installation process to finish right here. And once that's done, you just installed PyTorch in your Windows 10 or 11. Well, I hope this video helps and I'll see you in the next one.